So question for you, are you doing what you love for your career? It's a big question. I'd love to hear your answers below. You know, my dad worked for a large company for 35 years and he didn't, he liked his job for a long time, but as it changed and it changed on him, he had no control over, um, it wasn't fun anymore. And that brings me to today and my question to you. If you are passionate about something in your life that you would like more of, I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you today to do it. No more excuses. If photography is something you love, I need you to do it. And I also need you to join our Facebook group. <laughs> so loud show off I need you to join our Facebook group and share those images whether you're a brand spanking new beginner or you're an old dude that just can't wait to take the next picture and show it off we'd love to have you over there it's not about print competition it's not about who is better than who it's just I want to see relatable content to you what makes you a person what do you like and love share that all right kind of being run off from this area because apparently this was all roped off with the sugar bowl and then lsu's championship game was down here and there's a section to these parking lots that gets um, blocked off so they have a lot of moving parts <laughs> not really going on today but they're trying to clean up the area so you can get back here and apparently that's a no-go zone who knew or they're shooting a movie I don't know the coolest thing that happened to me was on a recent wedding and uh, one of the guests there was a bride I photographed 20 something years ago and the bride I was photographing that night was the flower girl in her wedding. That's right. What's up? That's not the cool part. The cool part is the person that was the, the cool part is the person that was the bride 20 something years ago her daughter is 20 I believe right now and uh, the coolest thing I've heard was midway towards almost the end of the reception she grabs me the bride from 20 something years ago grabs me and says hey my 20 year old isn't even close to being married but she said ma when i get married i want him that was the absolute coolest thing ever to be relatable to any generation from your energy and the work you do that's why i love my job So look, change does not happen in your life until you actually do something about that. So here's my challenge for you today. Everything that you normally do, I want you to choose something different. If you go to a coffee shop, order a tea instead of a coffee. If you drive to work or you walk to work or you ride your bike to work, take a different turn. Don't do the exact same thing. Open yourself up to change and it starts with little bitty steps not big ones but change is what leads you to other doors than the ones you've already walked through that's deep but true very true the Fuji X-T3 for me was my big change I wanted something different some new equipment just another way to work other results I wanted something different I was Canon for 24 years and let me tell you something. Me going through the Fuji X-T3 has nothing to do with a name brand, but the simple fact that it was different. The camera itself looks very different. It's that old school silver. 
I get a lot of conversation with that still on jobs. And I swear my creativity is different. It has changed. And I like how it's changed. Therefore, change is good. But if you don't do any changes, you're gonna have the same results. You got me? So this was my idea for 2020. I'm gonna do some changing myself, including the format to my videos. You know, nothing changes if you don't. So I'm gonna change the format of these things. <sighs> so listen, I truly appreciate you being here. I hope I encourage you to do something that's a little different. And uh, if you do, even if it's just one thing, man, you going for that coffee, get a tea. Tell us about it. I'd love to hear if it affected you at all. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Do what you do, hit the subscribe, support my channel. I'm really proud that you're here along for the journey. I have a lot more to show you guys. It's not only New Orleans that I'm proud of, but it's so many things that are happening in this new decade. And I want you along for the ride, all right? All right, fist bump, appreciate you. See ya, GK out.